Yo, what's going on, Arkansas Razorback fans? Welcome to Hogville Net YouTube. I'm Ty Hudson, the host of this bad boy. Do me a favor if you guys haven't already. Like the content, share the content, share this very video. That's right. And subscribe if you guys are new here. Okay, I, I kind of want to start where I recently left off on a video talking about the preseason love that Jalen Catalan, Bumper Pool, and Ricky Stromberg have been getting. Phil Still just put out his book or his his list not that long ago. In fact, this was uh, June 15th, so this would have been yesterday. And guess what? He has three All-Americans on his list that are Razorbacks. Jalen Catalan, first team, All-American. Bumper Pool, second team, All-American. He's got Ricky Stromberg. Not a big fan of the third and fourth team All-American list, but I, I understand the third team. I think fourth team might be stretching it a little bit. But Ricky Stromberg makes that list, fourth team All-American. Three All-Americans, according to Phil Still. These three have, they're unanimously getting some form of preseason love. Jalen Catalan has been the uh, more consistent All-American pick of the bunch. Phil Still also gave Cam Little, Jaden Hazelwood, Bo Limmer, and Isaiah Nichols some all-conference love as well. It's just It just goes to show you Sam Pittman, and I know this is obvious, but just hear me out. The transition has worked. Sam Pittman has been a, he's so far, Knock on wood, he's been a success. One of the things, whether you loved Houston Nutt or you hated him, one of the things he was able to do was take guys that were pretty average and turn them into all-conference or even all-American candidates, turn them into first-round prospects when they were three-star tight ends or wide receivers, and then turn them into a first-round draft pick defensive end. I'm, we're starting to see that a little bit. right? Jalen Catalan could legitimately be a first round prospect back to back seasons of first round possibilities here for the Razorbacks having a guy drafted in the first round. Not only that, he's keeping his, you know, he's keeping his coordinators as we all are very much well aware of. The direction of football is headed in a great direction. You're probably going to be preseason top 20, I would guess. I would guess somewhere around top 20, but let's just say for the sake of argument, preseason top 25. I'm sure someone's not going to be full on Sam Pittman believers. They're going to put them maybe right at like 25th, 24th. Wouldn't shock me. It's hard for Arkansas to get that kind of love. Then you look at basketball and what's, ha what's happening here with back-to-back -back Elite Eights. Now with this plethora amount of, of talent that's on this roster, you've got two, possibly three. Are you serious? First-round prospects? On this roster, Eric Musselman, who's a proven coach. I'm sorry, when you make back-to-back -back Elite Eights, you're, you're proven, especially when you had a pretty high level of, of success at another job like you did at Nevada. What he's doing here is incredible. I don't have to point out all the the highs that, that's going on there. You guys are very much well aware of what's happening there. Football and basketball, oh my goodness, if only we had the trifecta. Oh, wait. But we do. Dave Van Horn and the boys, for the 11th time in school history, are headed to Omaha. You've got Courtney Diefel with, with the softball team. Everything seems to be going Arkansas's way. Yeah, women's basketball, they got to get that figured out. I feel like Mike Neighbors is the guy. If there's anyone who can, who can right the ship, it's Mike Neighbors. And, and you know we'll have to keep an eye on that. But I still feel like everything is going in Arkansas's favor. Yeah, you're going to need to bring home the hardware. I agree. All this celebration of a lot of moral victories is what I'm told that we're celebrating right now. We need to actually bring home the bring home the hardware. I agree 110%. But listen, I would much rather be in this position where your teams are so damn close and everyone is seeing a level of success that you weren't seeing a few years ago outside of baseball. All of a sudden now you're in this, you're looking up at your at the at the television here and, and you've got ranked football, ranked basketball, elite eight, back to back years basketball, and the baseball team uh, in Omaha. Are you kidding me? You talk about we are very fortunate as fans and as media members who get to cover the Razorbacks and all the success they've been having. Hunter Gurchek is Thanos. Like he's got the gauntlet. You know, he's got Sam Pittman, he's got Eric Musselman, he's got Dave Van Horn, he's got Courtney Diefel. Are you kidding me? Like, we are spoiled. Let's just call it what it is. What a time to be alive as a Razorback fan. And again, as a media member, all we need Hunter Yurchek to do, snap the fingers.